Yeah, and again, yeah. the earlier we start, the better that in technology will be. Yes. And charging will not take long. You'll charge yeah. right, right now. Like I was saying, you're, you are going to stop anyway. If, if you're, like I was saying, if, yeah. you're, if you're traveling with children, charging is going to be the least of your concerns, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are going to have to stop anyway. If you're traveling as the boys, uh, again, to prevent driver fatigue, because like we said, it's one of the things that's one of the factors that leads to an accident. If you're, if you're really tired, it's going to lead to an accident. Ideally, you should be stopping. Yeah, however, if you hours. think about it, yeah. uh, uh, in, uh, internal combustion engine car, yeah. when you're fueling, it takes tops five minutes, 10 minutes, Yeah. right? The whole service. Yes. So again, if you can find a way to be able, even if it's like 20% of the charge in 15 minutes, Yeah. It, it will, and that will only happen if we do it, we start now. If and it's in five ubiquitous, years, there are many, as many yeah, as And then we keep, we keep growing the technology and then it will, because even a phone right now, right? Yeah. There's, you can charge a 45 watt phone, 30 minutes you, you it's- Yeah, okay. The thing know. is, um, again, because of the temperature in Kenya, yeah. we are really never going to be doing those super high speed charging of, of vehicles. That's, okay. uh, that's as it stands right now, um, there are going to be limits to how fast a car can charge in Kenya, okay. simply because of the temperature. How does that uh, like, affect it? Like um, really high speed charging mm -hmm. is going to hit the battery. Okay. Yeah, generally. Mm -hmm. Now, if you add on to the fact that we are on the equator, <laughs> in the <laughs> yeah. sunlight all the time, yeah, yeah the battery is already hot most of the time. Okay. So um, for the battery to be in an optimal range of temperature, uh, ideally, we are not going to be able to charge at the highest speeds at the moment. This, of course, can change. Okay. Because, like I'm saying, like a lot of the, the cooling that's being done for EVs is not being done with us in mind. So that's what that's what I was saying. Again, we need more homegrown solutions to this. So you need more engineers working on this who are thinking about it from a Kenyan perspective. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why, like, if you're, if you're importing, let's say, even even a hybrid car, guys have been having issues because, you know, you put you put foot mats uh, that are blocking the fans. Yeah. So you start having battery issues. Mm. Like I said with the rally, yeah, they, they had those challenges with the battery. Mm. Yeah. Dust is getting into the fans, <laughs> getting into the filters, <laughs> clogging the filters, mm. and then now the battery is not able to perform like the way it's supposed to. Uh -huh. So like we have unique challenges from a Kenyan context that I think should be looked at from our perspective. Yeah. So that's what I was saying. We need to go all the way down to, are we training the engineers? Or are we allowing people who already have that expertise to come into the country so that we can start looking at these things from our perspective? Yeah. Yeah. We need to get build that expertise. So it's not just hardware and software. Yeah. We also need to think about now the skills that people have. Have, yeah. Yeah. And training and training and, yeah, training and maintaining and yeah. developing capacity those skills. building as well. Yes. So I have this idea, but first, you know this meme whereby you <laughs> you put like a, a magnet at the front. Yeah. And, and then, then you, you pull it. You pull it so the car is moving <laughs> infinity. <laughs> Every, everyone, I mean, that's a perpetual motion device. Uh, that's, that has been the bane of human, humanity since its existence. Yes. How to get something moving without using too much yeah. energy. But now for EVs, yeah. right? Is it possible to build, mm -hmm. maybe it, it is to build like solar panels. The build of the car outside yes. is solar. So the car is charging as it's going. Yes. So it will never stop. Like, I mean, I there, mean there, are, never, there, never. Are, there are university projects that do that. Okay. So like um, I've seen the, there used to be races like that in the early 90s. So you, but now what happens is you build the car in a way that it is so aerodynamic that now it is not usable. <laughs> so it has to be super duper light. So it means you can't carry anything. It has, okay. <laughs> you can only have one person. So it's possible. It's just that now if you do that, mm -hmm. now you can't actually use the car. Yeah. Yeah, you can't you 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 now have to have because when they do it for university challenges they have to use the lightest student yeah. as the driver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't carry anything, you have to have the smallest battery. So it's possible yeah. technically. Yeah. And um it may be possible and that's why that's the reason why you you work extremes like that is so that now going forward are you able to to think about how much power that that can put into the car while you're driving? Because again, like we're in Kenya and yeah we have abundant solar energy so for guys who do off-road um what generally tends to happen is yeah a lot of off-road builds have a solar panel on top that charges the battery that's but now we are using a, you're not using the battery to drive the car you're using the battery now to run auxiliaries mm -hmm. you're using the battery to run the fridge you're using the battery to run the lights at night you're using the battery to cook stuff in the evening now mm -hmm. the induction cooker yeah. so it's it's something that's already happening mm -hmm. 
Mm. Yeah. So could you have like especially with high end vehicles like I remember the A8 uh, Audi A8 from the early 2000s the ba- the solar panel on the roof was running the AC when the car was off so that now if on a hot on a on a cold day you find it hot on a cold day on a hot day you find it cool mm. and it's not using the car's battery using the car's so battery. that's a possible that's not only is it possible it's actually been done it's being done there's a cool little loophole in physics where with the right weight and the right aerodynamics you can have an electric vehicle with 1000 miles of range that never needs to be plugged in probably one of the coolest EVs that i've ever seen <laughs> It's the one glitch in physics that they don't want you to know about. Let's get started. Thank you so much for watching that highlight video. If you want to watch the full conversation that we had on the game drive, uh, click here. I'm going to put it here. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, or even share with anyone who would be interested in this conversation. Um, it helps my channel and it helps me make more videos like this. Asante. Bye.